Hello everybody, my name is Rich Platypus and welcome to the Besiege Hangout series where we're featuring some awesome and wacky creations in the workshop. In today's video, we're, we're doing a tank versus tank combat and blimp assault which we're using any kinds of planes that I, can, that I could ever find in the workshop that could take down my Mercer class airship. And this video will be a little bit different from my other business hangout series because I'll be just gonna talk while playing these amazing creations just like what I did for my uh, 5k sub special video so the video will be less boring uh, and I'll gonna do this to every new videos from now on because it's new year <laughs> whatever so enough talk uh, let's just begin and let's go Alright, our very first creation will be a A25D, uh, which is a, a wheeled tank with some uh, time stand cannon and a, a, a kind of a pretty good speed of. Wait, I did. Oh, jeez, I, I didn't. I did not just this one, <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's a it's a wheeled tank with some uh, a pretty good amount of firepower. Uh, with a like, decent speed and some uh, a little bit of unique style like oh jeez you know what I, I very dream to be to have a tank like this like you could do this kind of style because it's awesome though a uh, units a uh, wheel tank could do could do this you could do this uh, sick moves you see here you could you could do a Tokyo Tokyo drift and it's pretty lit so now yeah uh, this this thing is oh uh, this thing is very awesome so now uh, we I'm gonna bring some simple tank to, to fight this little rat and we're gonna begin so now uh, I put the other other tanks right right there so we could give this uh, little thing a little bit of uh, obstacle course so let's see how good it was on heavy terrain uh, this is the function of this um, like side to side <laughs> side to side wind <laughs> I don't know what what is it called but uh, I'll go with that that side to side winds <laughs> sorry about that but uh, we keep moving on oh geez uh, that's a hard okay so now we're we're almost near. Uh, let's see how. Uh, before we could ever begin, uh, let's test out how good the rockets are. I I know the it could take down the the tank for sure because look, it's a turreted. It's a it's a tank with a with a turret on it, and it's awesome. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go right here in, in a bird's eye view because. I don't know what I'm. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, there you go. There he is. Okay, let's launch uh, missile one. Oh my! <laughs> uh, awesome. Oh, I just uh, uh, stay away from him. Stay away from him. All right there you go. And we're gonna repeat the same thing again because this thing has a respawn stuff. <laughs> Because yet again, this map is supposed to be uh, a PvP map, it's inspired to a World of Tank, inspired to World of Tanks, <laughs> and it is. It's a World of Tanks inspired map, and it's pretty awesome though. Okay, here we go again for the um, hard hard bridge. I hope. Uh, PewDiePie won't say the N word, but we're gonna, s we're gonna still keep going. Damn, that's a hard. Ouch. Okay, um, there you go, he's aiming at me. Ow! Ah, uh, his his turret has been jammed. 
very good. <laughs> I kind of like this thing because it has this um, this white thing on a cursor. It's pretty. It's pretty good. <laughs> and it's very bad. You can't gain back, bro. Yeah, take you out. Hasta la vista, baby. And my <laughs> and my gun got and my gun has broken. Uh, please press uh, press F to the description. The the gun broke. Okay, our next question will be the uh, L. L100-88 from the from the game uh, Panzer Front, which is a a German tank destroyer with some a jet engine. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why the Germans would do do that stuff. But you know, just like Jojo said, German engineering was the greatest. And here we go again. Now uh, uh, the the heads are on steroids versus a test target now our test target is now shooting on us you're gonna fire oh geez uh, it hit it hit our some of our uh, side armor but we're still keep going we're never gonna get killed see uh, he still miss uh, because of uh, this this thing has a, a jet engine on the back uh, the German engineering will never be beaten just like Jojo said uh, I mean, uh, Von Stroheim. <laughs> uh, <geez. laughs> I, I'm very wrong at this time, but you know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, in a JoJo universe, uh, uh, Stroheim said he's right, but sometimes uh, com complexity makes some stuff even worse, and that's the the bad stuff. So yeah, uh, now uh, the tank is now it's now dead. Uh, we could barely move. Uh, we could still shoot again, shoot again, shoot again, and he's disabled now. Uh, yeah, it the the uh, Ariol. <laughs> I don't know how to say its name, but it says the the this tank's name was the Ariol from the. Uh, Panzer front game and yep it's, it's the very best tank so now let's go to the next creation and our last land vehicle will be the B7 administrator which is a, a mob which is a tank with multiple turrets which is very sweet uh, it could shoot uh, I don't know how do I control this there's oh yeah uh, can control the turrets like this. Uh, I don't know how to control this thing a little bit, but uh, we could fire this thing, I guess. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I kind of forgot, but yeah, uh, this tank has has more turrets. It's supposed to be like a mo mobile bunker, just like what the uh, P1000 Red supposed to be. A uh, very giant. Uh, Bunker, a mobile bunker, <laughs> and it's a very big that it's, it's a very big tank. But this one is much more of a, a much more nimble version of the P1000 Rad. And here we go again. Uh, now the the bigger one versus the small one. Who would win? But now uh, we're gonna give the small one to to have a. A little bit of damage. Let's see how tough it is. Okay. Um, not, be, not even a pinch. Uh, the the tank still go ongoing. Okay. One more shot. He miss again. One shot. He miss again. Oh, come on, bro. One shot. Uh, there you go. He hit this turret. Uh, he it hits the administrator's turret, but uh, it, that was just a ricochet. So now he gonna shoot again. Damn, only a little bit of damage, but still, that tank is still moving on. Okay, uh, that's a little bit of hard hit, but she's still going on. And now he's gonna turn his main main gun. Uh, 
Keep bring the main gun, prepare to be annihilated, and... And now it's damage its engine, and now... More damage quirks! Yeah, it always says that it did penetrate your armor! Um, sorry about the table. Uh, it did penetrate it. Penetration! It really did penetrate it again. That, that would bounce. And now, for the final blow, it's times 20 cannon will gonna end its misery. So now, hasta la vista, baby. Beautiful. And here we go with some very nice fight. Very nice. Uh, Aircraft made by our lovely boy, uh, Krautogens, uh, I forget its name, uh, the K, K, I think it's KR-113 I guess, I kind of forget but yeah, but it's a, it's a, supposed to be a, a wooden, a wooden jet, yes indeed, it's a wooden jet made, made out of wood, a used one, <laughs> typical, your, always your typical besieged creation. And and it's just a uh, your basic fight fighter plane. It's, it's just your cheap plane because just like it, what it says in the in the thumbnail, wooden jet. And what do we even expect? As you can see here, we have uh, some lovely explosion. So yeah. Now let's use this one to destroy some airship. Alright, alright, ladies and gentlemen, here we go again with some uh, destruction. Now we're gonna destroy that uh, battleship blimp with some wooden jet fighter. And now we need to just some. We need to do some a little bit of uh, fine. fine pitch and goody. do the cockpit and let's shoot this. Missiles and kill this, kill this behemoth and did we hit him? No. There we go. Hope for the best. Jeez, it's so hard. Also, due to the due to the play without a s iron sight, just to give us some much more accurate hit we need to, to do more maneuvers let's do some more maneuvers and hope for the best that we could kill this beast beast of a plane fire there you go! Hit and we're we're crushing. Uh, let's see the let's see the ship. Oh my! It's actually tough! Uh, look! No damage whatsoever, no although this one. Yeah, I know he's he's racing up. You raise me up! So yeah, it's very tough airship. But since that aircraft wasn't good enough of killing this behemoth, uh, let's try it again. Alright ladies and gentlemen, here we go again. We're gonna do this again and let's hope for the best that we could hit this uh, behemoth of a beast. I hope so. I hope we could kill it with one shot. <laughs> I I mean more shots I guess I hope we could kill it now you're dead now boy what okay that's it that's it uh, I'm just gonna do a kamikaze attack kamikaze attack instead screw you buddy screw you I can't even. Oh my god! It's gonna be a bad plane. 
what I'm gonna say, it's kind of been a, your typical bad play because of how awful it controls, like how hard this one to to make it as a as a effective aircraft, and the only thing you can do is just a kamikaze attack. And uh, let's see, uh, there we go. Uh, we we see some damage. Uh, now the the airship is now doing the Hindenburg style. Hmm, kinda, but it's, she's still afloat. No, it's, she's crashing now. She's crashing, and game over right from the helm. So yeah, uh, that's the the jet fight. That's the wooden jet made by Kraut. And we're not gonna weren't weren't done yet uh, because uh, Kraut has still more better planes. And here it goes the the I think the much more better version, much more better aircraft of Krauts is the KR-13, the real KR-13. The the wooden jet was the 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 K110. I know I kind of forgot what its name is, but at least we already know what what plane is it, and this is the real the real deal. So now, what we're gonna do again is the the common one. Uh, I mean the the basic stuff. Now, let's aim for the. Let's aim for the blimp and let's kill it. Okay, now let's go for the cockpit. We're having, we're kind of bit far. Okay, there we go. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, this. Boo. Oh my. Oh my God. <laughs> Kamikazes always work. In besiege only, but take a look at that damage. Like that bite, that plane crash into the blimp. It just obliterated it. And take a look at this. It all, the only thing has left was the was the main was the main bow and the stern. <laughs> Bra, let's try it again. And. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go again. Now our KR-13 is now is now engaging the blimp. I hope we kill it from a clean kill. Now let's fire again. Although it has some four cannons, we could kill it much more better. Okay, pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, there you go. We, we did some more damage, now the blade is now crashing down. And look at that. Whammo! <laughs> Damn! You know what, for, for, for what I'm gonna say, uh, I kinda like uh, Kra Kraut as a plane builder because of how he made his planes much more <laughs> uh, realistic. Uh, also, uh, Mango do also make much more of oh. okay uh, yeah uh, just like what Mango did he also make much more better planes than than Crowd uh, but for me Crowd is much more best at making planes made out of wood and uh, Mango it's much more on realism so I think they're both good Plane beater. So now, uh, let's go to the last, to the last feature. Okay, speaking of Mango, here we go with uh, Mango's newest aircraft, the Dassault Mirage 2000, which is a uh, a French jet fighter. Uh, with its, uh, yeah, as you can see here, the 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 speedometer. It's really fast, actually. More, way more faster than my planes because I'm still keep lear still learning of how to make how to make my planes much 
better. As you can see here, um, it's fast. And now here we go, so our Mirage 20. Uh, I mean Mirage 2000, going on in a much more higher altitude. Now he's now aiming for the aiming for the very old uh, fossil-like resonant. And now he's now striking for the okay, no, no damage. Uh, don't worry, we still have more missiles to go. Uh, all we need to do is just decrease our speed. Increase our speed a little, a little bit because this thing is actually much more harder to, to use. Because take a look at this thing, okay? okay. Uh, to make it much more accurate, uh, we're just gonna aim much more. Uh, um, this. The only problem with this Mirage 20 that it has the weak yaw. I mean, our target. There we go. It's still pretty much more nice yo. Let's all hit it. Whoa! Oh there you go. Yeah. Vacuum missiles always rule. It's like your typical uh, nuke. So there we go. As you can see, the blimp turned into smithereens. All thanks to the Mirage 2000. So yeah, um, that's our very last last creation in this thing. And now let's I'm gonna show you my new creation. Our last creation will be the Zepia 20 Gray Marlin, which is a which is my very new new jet fighter. As you can see, it's. It's a little bit sm slower, as you can see here in the the kilo the speedometer. It only could reach like uh, 700, 700 to 800 kilometers, which is kind of bit bad. It's not it's not that good. It's not that it's not that good. I, I kind of don't like it for some reason because uh, for some jet fighters, it should good enough to reach like about. Uh, 2000 uh, I know it will not be always be reaching like uh, 1000 1130 I guess but here here I think this one is much more capable on uh, of 1000 kilometers but it will it will give you like a, a little bit of minute as you can see in the third speedometer it's it's not good enough as you can see here when it pitch it drop its speed much even even worse but uh, at least it's much more capable now it's much more uh, nimble than the than the previous plane more better than the jackal and see here the the roll is decent the pitch is decent the yo was a little bit decent. The firepower is also good. The machine gun was a little bit of, of a problem. I know that. And the uh, missiles are the the cherry on top. This is here perfect for a uh, ground attacks, but not perfect for air-to-air -air combat. So now, uh, for what I'm gonna say, let's bring the blimp. All right, people, just for fun. Uh, I give this I give this plane with some two targets he gonna take down like uh, two blimps one at a time for fun because it's because it's besieged why not we don't care how much gig did our computer could take because it's our creation I'm speaking gibberish again. Okay, it's a hit. It's a hit. It's a hit. Ah, it's not a hit. Okay, here we go again. Fox two. 
It's a hit. It's a hit. Only the, <laughs> only the turret. But hey, uh, at least it's a hit. That's the good thing. And now let's begin. Another again. Which the missile again. Just, just aim to the goddamn thing. And it's a hit. You can see. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn! There we go! We ripped it in two! We could... We could rip every... Airship in two! With my bare hands! Okay, I'm gonna... Hit that thing again. Oh jeez, don't hit me again. Don't, don't hit me with your... Okay. Here we go again. Uh, we're gonna hit we're gonna destroy with, with cannons just for fun Um, jeez yet again fire fire at wind there we go we ripped him in two there we go yeah satisfying us head it more satisfying on slow motion so yeah uh well that's pretty much it we're gonna wrap up this video now and also thank you also for watching guys and also please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a new video so yeah that's pretty much it and see you guys in the next video but before we could go, uh, if you see my post, if, if, if you saw my post, like I said that, should I bring back a uh, besiege build? And some people has been agreed yes, uh, because that's that's the content that what my uh, YouTube channel has been going more and more. Uh, a little bit successful so yeah um, that's pretty much it and thank thank you and goodbye <laughs>